seems that Keyfront is paving the way and using new materials in the Western market for switches. From the Doom switches, introducing new PE material called HDPE and big wig switches using PBT material for the housing. Now what separates the Vanguard 65 apart from the rest of the 65% on the market? Vanguard supports a knob, which you have seen on a lot of keyboards lately, but it also supports a slider that's packed with a ton of features, including layer shift to easily transition between different key binding, RGB brightness control for setting brightness levels of the PCB, volume control to command your system's volume, and MIDI encoding. MIDI CC stands for continuous control or control change. When you're turning a knob, pushing a slider in this case, you're also sending a MIDI CC channel specific value that can go to a sound module, plug-in, or sequencer. All of these settings can be controlled with VIA, and when enabling the slider to the MIDI CC90 it opens a wave of new features. When pairing this with a free to use software, for example, MIDI Mixer, you can also control a ton of programs with plugins, including OBS, Discord, Home Assistant, Philips Hue, and more. Okay, now onto the specs of the board. The case comes in a 6063 aluminum top and bottom, but also features a polycarbonate white frosted material option. The Vanguard comes in four colors here white, black, forest green, and ruby star purple. Unfortunately, you only get two bottom case options, black alu and polycarbonate frosted. Slider notch engravings are optional and will cost $10 extra. These are inspired from MIDI devices. Front height is 19.2 millimeters, which could also seem a little too high for others, but it's complemented with a beautiful cherry lip. I really like to see this on other keyboards. It adds a nice character to the front height of the keyboard while giving functionality to its purpose. The weight included is made from brass that's sandblasted with a clear coating. The mounting style is a gasket sock which is mounted onto the PCB. If you would like to build this plateless even on a hot swap PCB, which I have never personally experienced or have seen before. The PCB that comes with the Vanguard is hot swap only, which is very helpful for beginners that don't want to solder or even to people who want to swap out switches for different builds. PCB offers multiple layouts, ANSI, ISO, split backspace, step caps, and more. The plate included in the stock kit is polycarb, but you can pick up extras and if you do, please make sure to have them bundled with a VG kit. Some extra plate materials include carbon fiber, polycarb, brass, FR4, palm, and alu. This mainly covers all plate materials and I'm really happy to see Keyfront offering a vast selection of materials. Foam dampening kit is included with the kit case and plate foam. In this build I only used the case foam as there was little resonance with the case but was easily fixed with the case foam without compromising the natural sounds of this board. Here is a sound test of the VG65 with SP Star Yan Yu switches. The Vanguard 65 I think really lives up to its name by leading the way in new developments from the MIDI feature support, a slider, a knob, hot swap PCB that supports multiple layouts as well as plateless options. Plus the name is just cool. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and keep on typing. Peace.